up, everyone? My name is Melissa McCack, and I'm here with my brother, Justin Maycack. Hey, everybody. This is Room 51, where we talk about all things board gaming. And today, we are coming at you with something totally freaking new that we are doing. And it is the Room... <laughs> It is the Room 51 Awards. We know that we have absolutely no business doing this, but we wanted to anyway. Heck yeah. <laughs> we like talking about games that we love, and we wanted to, we just wanted to celebrate these games, even though, yes, this award might not mean all that much, yeah. uh, but they mean something to us. And so we wanted to share that with you. Yeah, and truthfully, like, the awards are more of a um, Hall of Fame style thing for us. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. so there's no year bound thing it's not this is not our favorite teams from 2020 or anything it's really just teams that us as a group have played and have now voted on and it's kind of like they make it into the hall of fame under these different categories right and we are by no means calling the room 51 awards the hall of fame or anything like that that's that it's just hall of fame style the way we came up with the nominations and everything and we'll probably continue to do this I, I had a lot of fun making this list and like nominating things and all that yeah. stuff. Also the categories. Uh, oh yeah, what's up? When I said Hall of Fame, I very much, I should have probably mentioned this, but I meant it as like our personal Hall of Fame for the Room 51 yeah. group that plays these games with us yeah. and everything. It's like that personal group's Hall of Fame that we thought we would share with all of you. Yeah, and our categories are pretty different from what you would normally, I guess, see in awards. This is a very kooky thing that we're doing. I don't, we don't know what we're doing. We just wanted to. Um, it, it's super personal, though. It is. Like, it's very us. personal. It's very personal to the Room 51 squad. Um, and we will explain the categories. We're not going to explain exactly what the, um, I guess, rules that we had put in place for ourselves in terms of what could be nominated and what could be um, voted on and all that stuff uh, because that's just a bunch of number crunching and you don't need to know that but we will explain what each category means and each category is represented by someone from room 51 excluding unfortunately Kaylin and Josette because they came in on the bad bandwagon a little bit later after we already like set these uh stuff you know uh but either way without further ado let's get to the nominations awesome all right, so our first nomination is the category that's pretty special to Eileen. It's the Kumbaya Award. And Kumbaya, it's just that award is all about feeling chill while playing the game. You know, it's it, games that promote that. Games that when you're playing it, it promotes camaraderie in a pretty chill sense. All right? And, I mean, if you have ever played a game with Eileen, I promise those are the games you should play with her. <laughs> and she loves playing those kinds of games. She loves, like, wholesomeness, all that good stuff. It's awesome. So, yeah, so on to the nominees. First up is Pandemic Legacy Season 1 from Z-Man Games, designed by Rob Davu and Matt Leetoth. Then we have Sunset Over Water by Pencil First Games, designed by Eduardo Baref and Stephen and Keith Matechka. Matechka. I'm trying. Then we have The Mind by Nürnberger Spielkarten Verlag, designed by Wolfgang Warsh. And then we have Ditsit to finish off the category by Libel Lud, designed by Jean-Louis Rubira. Rubira. You completely butchered I really did. I'm so sorry. That was a tough one. R Robira. Robira. I think that's how you pronounce it. Jean-Louis Robira. Yeah. I promise I'm trying. Just want to apologize beforehand for butchering any names. It's not what we are trying to do. I I'm really trying to get the pronunciations down. I... I'm not trying to make fun or anything. This is me trying. Yes. All right. On to the next category. This one is actually uh, represented by me, Melissa. Uh, and it is called the Big Bad Wolf Award. These are games that are pretty much, they are meaty. They're like the main course of the night, okay? 
yeah. but they have some sort of theme. They, this is, these are the types of games I tend to like. They don't necessarily have to be Ameritrash games. They could certainly be Euro games, but have some sort of theme injected into it, and I kind of feel it from them. Um, and those are just typically, if you watched our 10, top 10 games of all time, uh, you would know that these are the type of games that I really enjoy. And the nominees are Caverna, The Cave Farmers, published by Lookout Games, designed by Uwe Rosenberg. Next up is Scythe, published by Stonemeyer Games and designed by Jamie Stegmeyer. My category only has two games this year for various reasons, but those are the nominees for a Big Bad Wolf Award. Awesome. The Nets Award up is Tightrope, which is Sabrina's category. And it's essentially those kind of middleweight games that you might show newcomers to the table, new gamers that, hey, this is a little scary to show you. It might not go over well, but I'm going to try it anyways. And the nominees for that category are Seven Wonders by Rebos Production, designed by Antoine Bauza. Then we have Notre Dame by Aaliyah Ravensburger, designed by Steffenfeld. Then we have Role Player by Thunderbird Steams, designed by Keith Matechka. Oh, he also designed Sunset Over Water. I did not realize that. That's kind of exciting. Uh, and then we also have Istanbul by Pedasus Spiel, designed by Rudiger Dorn. And to finish it off, we have Endeavor Age of Sail, designed by, uh, sorry, by Burns Island Games, designed by Carl Deviser and Jarrett Gray. Next up is the Small and Mighty Award. This is represented by Catherine, who is one of our uh, social media people. She likes small boxed games that pack a punch. So uh, these are, this is what this award is about. It's about literally in small boxes. And we didn't really come up with the size as to like how small the box has to be. It wasn't, you know, it was pretty lax. Uh, but I don't think you could really argue that any of these boxes are too big. <laughs> uh, and the nominees are Tiny Epic Galaxies published by Gameland Games and designed by Scott Alms. Celestia, published by Blam, designed by Aaron Wiesblum. Welcome Back to the Dungeon, published by Yellow, designed by Antoine Bauza and Masato Wasugi. Ku, published by Indie Boards and Cards, designed by Ricky Tata. And Hanamakoji, published by Emperor S4, designed by Kota Nakayama. Awesome. So this next category is my category. We called it Newsroom. The point of the category is games that have some sort of social aspect to that. You know, something that you have to be interacting with the people at the table and either working with them or for yourself, whatever it is, it needs to have some sort of social flair within the game. And the nominees for that are Captain Sonar by Matado, designed by Roberto Frada and Johan Lemonier. Then we have The Lost Expedition by Osprey Games, designed by Pierre Sylvester. Then we have Unlocked by Asdor, designed by Cyril Demade. We have Deception Murder in the Hong Kong, designed by, sorry, by Jolly Thinkers, designed by Toby Ho. Then we have Decrypto by Le Scorpion Mast, designed by Thomas Danis Lesperance. Our last category for the Room 51 Awards is the Game of Our Hearts. And this is a culmination of all of our favorite games. We nominated our pretty much each of our number one games of all time, put them into the category together. And so we have the nominees. Caverna, The Cave Farmers, published by Lookout Games, designed by Uwe Rosenberg. Teo Tehuacan, City of Gods, published by NSKN Games, designed by Danielle Taschini. Pandemic Legacy Season 1, published by Z-Man Games, designed by Matt Leacock and Rob Davio. Twilight Imperium 4th Edition, 
published by Fantasy Flight Games, designed by Dane Beltrami, Corey Konitska, and Christian T. Peterson. And those are the nominees for all of our Room 51 awards. If you want to check out who the winner of all these awards are, come join us next week on Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time as we announce live the winners of each of these categories for the Room 51 awards. This has been Room 51. <laughs>